Well, it is that time of the year once again. The dying of the pumpkins. That's right, you know, between little kids just stabbing at them with crude tools. Crude tools? I mean the death toll in pumpkin pies and soups alone. And especially the worst way these guys die is getting smashed by high school sophomores who are drunk on cheap vodka. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to cook pumpkin seeds in three different amazing ways. If you want to learn how to prepare the pumpkin seeds for roasting, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video first, right here, and then come back to this one for the roasting. So since we're doing pumpkin seeds three different ways, you're gonna to wanna to divvy these up into three different roasting trays. Right, so for the first batch here, I've just got a little mixture of olive oil and butter, 50-50. The recipe for this will be in the description under this video. So we're just gonna pour on about two to three tablespoons. So I'll definitely put a link in the corner for this right here. This is my homemade rosemary salt and it's a blend of rosemary, sage, garlic, lemon zest, and salt. And you can just make this quickly in your food processor. It is amazing, everybody loves this. Rosemary salt going down. Give them a good mix. Even them out again. Curry powder. I love curry powder and I think it's going to work beautifully with these pumpkin seeds and the turmeric is going to give them such a beautiful color when they're done. Curry powder going down. Mmm, smells amazing. I actually bought that on Amazon for like 10 bucks two months ago and I'm still using it. Some kosher salt going in. And so for the last batch we're definitely going to go an Asian wrap with a little sesame oil and soy sauce. Sesame oil first. Soy sauce, take your time to spread it out as much as you can. Give it a really good mix. Mmm, really excited about these. So these are going right into the center of a 375 degree oven for roughly 15-20 minutes, but we'll talk about that more in a sec. So you know, some people might like it when the seed is a little bit chewier. I don't really like it that way. I like it to be pretty crunchy, pretty light, and pretty crispy. So I'll tend to bake mine more towards like the 20 or even 25 minute mark. You just gotta go in there as they're roasting a few times, turn them, check them out. The best way to know is just to eat one, see what it's like. So there they are, fresh out of the oven, smelling amazing. This is the tamari and soy. This is the rosemary salt. These are smelling incredible and the curried pumpkin seeds. Oh my God, I can't wait to try these. So first of all, as far as the cooking time goes, that took a full 25 minutes in my oven. Okay, I'm gonna try the curry powder first. Mmm. I mean, if you like curry powder, you're gonna love those. And that turmeric gives them such a beautiful color when they're done roasting. Okay, now I'm going for the rosemary salt. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Gonna be hard to beat. What I tell you guys about the rosemary salt, man, it always wins. But. Let's try the tamari and sesame. These look amazing. Mmm. Mmm. Those are so light and crispy and just the simplicity of soy and sesame. Amazing, really good as well. But you know, for me, the rosemary salt, especially this time of year, it's just gonna be so festive. It just tastes like holidays. But they're all amazing. By the way, this is going to be part of a five-part pumpkin series, so still to come. We're going to do a pumpkin soup, we're going to do a pumpkin puree, and we're going to do a roast pumpkin. Stay tuned for those. If you want to check out some more great recipes from the channel, I'm going to put them up right here as I walk away. And so that is it for today's video, my friend. I hope you enjoyed the content, and if you liked it, do not forget to leave it a like, and don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you next time.